Hello everyone, and today I will be solving the integral of e to the x with respect to x more rigorously, rather than simply deducing that since the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, then the integral of e to the x is just e to the x plus an arbitrary constant of integration. So the way I'm going to be doing this is using power series. So let's start by using what's known as the Tanzelin method, which is basically just an easier way to use integration by parts. So the way that this works is that you choose one part of the integrand. In this, this case, I'm going to choose e to the x. And I put this in the d column, d for derive. And the derivative of e to the x is simply e to the x. I'm going to write this a bunch of times. e to the x dot 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 e to the x. And then I'm going to put 1, because this is just e to the x times 1 dx, in the i column. And the integral of 1 is simply x. And this is going to be x squared over 2 factorial, x cubed over 3 factorial, x to the n divided by n factorial. So now I'm just going to add plus here, minus here, plus here, minus here. Now we're going to we're going to multiply, oops, sorry. We're going to multiply all of the diagonals together. And what we're left with is e to the x times x minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial minus so on and so forth. Now, we, what we want to do is find a power series representation for this. So let's go up here and note that uh, the power series of e to the x is simply 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial, which is equal to the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. Now, this power series is similar to this one. So what we have here is an alternating series. So let's go ahead and say this is 1 plus the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the n minus 1 times x to the n divided by n factorial. Now this negative 1 to the negative 1 is simply negative 1, so we put this on the bottom. But let's factor it outside of the sum. So we have 1 minus the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times x to the n over n factorial. Uh, this is equal to 1 minus the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of negative x to the n over n factorial. Now, if we think of e to the x as a function of x, and that we think of the power series in this way too, then if e to the x equals the sum of x to the n over n factorial, then the sum of negative x to the n over n factorial is e to the minus x, so this turns out to be the power series of this right here is equal to 1 minus e to the power of negative x. Let's write that here. e to the x times 1 minus e to the minus x. Let's just add plus c here and plus c here. Now we distribute this out to get e to the x minus e to the x minus x plus c. This is equal to e to the x minus e to the 0 plus c. e to the 0 is simply 1, so you combine the two arbitrary constants of integration, and you're left with e to the x plus d. And this is proof that the integral of e to the x is simply e to the x plus an arbitrary constant of integration. Thank you for watching.